Hi there and welcome to Social for Startup and a little tutorial on something that you can do that's quite interesting on Twitter. Uh, the unique feature of Twitter is the 140 characters, that is the maximum that we can type into the box. But sometimes you want to, might want to say more things than 140 characters will allow. Um, and this is where Twitter threads come in. And this is where you can actually link different tweets together uh, that people can then see. But I mean, it's much easier for me to show you than to talk about it. So I'm going to put some tweets together. I've done this on um, Word already. So I'm just going to bring up um, my Word document. And this is the initial tweet I'm going to send out. So I'm going to copy that over. Obviously, you can type this directly in, but I'm doing this to save a bit of time. Um, if I come out to this and I copy that in, what we've got is, I know that social media can be intimidating for startups. In the thread are playlists with easy to follow tutorials. Give them a click. And that's what I'm tweeting for now. You might think, well, there's nothing actually going on there. This is where we're going to create the thread. So I'm going to tweet that. There we go. And that is now there. Now, what I'm going to do to create the thread is I'm going to reply to my own tweet. So I go to the reply bubble here and give that a click. And now I'm going to put the second tweet in there. So if I go back to Word, now this time I'm going to show you how to get the link to the playlist because I'm showing playlists. So a quick addition here, a bit of YouTube coming on. Um, but if I go to YouTube for now, uh, ignore this little thing. This is the screen capture tool I'm using from PowerPoint. Um, what I want to do is the Facebook playlist. So I've created a playlist and I'm doing making friends with Facebook. If I click into the playlist, one of the buttons here says share. So if I click on the share button, it gives me a link that I can copy. So I'm just going to take that. I'm going to go back to Word. There we go. And I'm going to just paste that in at the end. And this is my next tweet. Don't worry about the really, really long URL here. Twitter has changed uh, changed in October last year. URLs now only really count for 15 characters, no matter how long they are. So I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to go back to Twitter. And I'm going to pop that into the reply. There we go. So making friends with Facebook tutorials and the link to the playlist. I'm going to hit the reply button. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more involved. So you can see now there's my original tweet and we've got this little line with this tweet underneath. This is called a thread. Um, now, the next way to add something else to the thread is to reply to the reply. So you don't do this on the original tweet. This is my reply to the original tweet and I'm going to reply to the reply. So I'm going to click here. I hope you're following me so far. And I'm going to go to Word and I'm going to grab the next one. I prepared these earlier just for timing purposes, but we got making friends with Twitter. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to Twitter and paste that in. There we go. And we got making friends with Twitter, easy to follow tutorials with the link. Ignore these bits that come over. I have Grammarly installed. It's telling me I've done things wrong, but I haven't. That's fine. So I hit the reply button. And what it will look like this time, if I refresh, there we go, one new tweet. Now we've got the original tweet, a blue line to the second tweet, which is publicizing the playlist for Facebook. Then we got the link that is publicizing the playlist for YouTube. And we're going to put sorry, Twitter, sorry. And we're going to put the last one in. So you reply to the latest tweet. So I replied to the original tweet. I replied to the reply and I'm replying to the reply. So I'm going to click on the bubble here and I'm going to put the last one in. So we're going to go back to Word. I'm going to grab this one that I prepared earlier and then go back to Twitter and pop that in there. And this is now for YouTube. And if I hit the reply button, that will be added to the thread. Now, I do want to show you something because three tweets will show. 
So at the moment you can see I've got three tweets. That is the maximum that will show in one go. So if I go back, what you'll see now is that I've still got three tweets showing. I've got the first one, the third one, and the fourth one. We have to click here to expand the last one in. We get one more reply, which will open that one up so you can have a look at it. So you will only be able to see in the feed the first and the last two tweets. But that means that what we've got here is a tweet that has got more information available. So they can see the original one and they're giving more stuff. So this is for like grouping content, if you like. Now, if you're talking about a new group of products, you know, I'd like to introduce you to the fabulous new products that are just hitting the store now. And they're gonna have one reply that's about one product, another reply that's about another product, linking people to those pages. Um, which means your tweet is more than just 140 characters. It's a story, if you like, that people can expand and look at and really get to grips with. So the critical thing is that you reply to each reply. The original tweet gets replied to, you reply to the reply, and you're always replying to the last thing you added to the thread. And that thread can be as long as you like, but obviously in people's feed, they are only going to see what you can see now, which is those the first, very first tweet and the last two tweets underneath. But it's a great way of getting grouped content in as well. Also, I'll show you another way that this can be very good. I'm just going to go to my um, home feed, sorry, to my, to my previous tweets. So if I go to my profile, because sometimes there is a tweet that you might have done a couple of weeks, if not a couple of months ago, that you'd like to get back to the top of Twitter. So here are all the ones I've just done. I'm going to find one of my uh, tweets. So here we go. That's me being interviewed on BBC Three Counties Radio. I might want to bump that back up to the top again. Uh, so I'll go in here and go, I right, really, Apologise for my typing. I'm doing this spontaneously, so I'm prepared. Anything. I really enjoyed this chat. If you need hashtag start up support. Oops, support support. Check out at the Winter Group, which is the company that I work for based in Hertfordshire and Bedfordshire. And I'm gonna make sure that says, if you, thank you Grammarly for coming up too late. So I really enjoyed this chat. If you need startup support, check out the Winter Group. So if I reply to this, no, hit that reply. What's gonna happen is if I go back up to the top, let's go back to my homepage. It has reintroduced that tweet to the top of my feed. So that's, say 70 tweets and one of those should be there we go so there's the original tweet and I've replied to it so I've taken that content that content from March the 21st first and I popped it right back at the top of the feed on what is today the 3rd of July so it's a great way to take old content and redistribute it to the top of your page. So again, that could be something that's happened before. It could be a testimonial from a customer, a case study you've done. Just reply to it if you can do it in a relevant way and it pops it right back at the top of your feed and your, uh, your followers' feeds again. So I hope that has been a useful um, video. Uh, this is a nice way of, of making Twitter work a little bit harder for you. Uh, and for you to be able to deliver more than your 140 characters, actually to tell a bit of a story and give your customers a bit of a flow uh, and a little bit more to interact with. So thank you very much for watching. If you found this useful, please hit the subscribe button and uh, have an absolutely fantastic week.